Hi, I'm Stephanie DeMuth. This is my reflection for video number two. Um, I recorded myself with the seventh grade band at Thomas More Prep Marion. They're working on a piece right now. It's called The Revenge of the Dust Bunnies. It is a very exciting piece for the seventh graders to be playing. They're really enjoying it, but it's also a very learning potential piece for them. There's lots, um, there's some repeated sections, but at the same time, there's lots of different articulations and different um, rhythms and different things like that that they're working on right now. How I differentiated the lesson today was I worked with students more on an individual basis at times or on just working on just with just a couple students at a time, such as one section where the low brass and low woodwinds. They have the da 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 da, and they were playing it da 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 da, and they needed to play it with a short, with a third note short instead of long, like they're doing. Um, I noticed while I was teaching that it was only one student who was having this error. Well, I had the whole low brass and low woodwinds play this section a couple of times, but since this one student still wasn't getting it, I individually told him that you, uh, you need to make sure that the third note is shorter than you are playing it. And then well, we played it again and he made it better but he still, I was like well that's closer but he still didn't quite have it how he should. But then we played it one more time and then he got right on. So it helped one student to feel successful and to fix their problem, their error that they were having while playing. Another section was with the low brass again. They were having rhythm errors and I had to individual, well I didn't individually but I took pairs of students and had just a couple students at a time play through the part. This really helped me to understand which students were having issues and which students were doing really well with it. This also helped for the students to hear those those ones that weren't doing it as well. They were able to hear the ones who were playing it correctly and be able to understand have a better understanding of what the correct how well the correct way of playing it is. The difficult thing with especially for the low brass, we have the trombone players. They're the ones that really have a hard time with it because they're in, they have to have a good ear to re and really know what notes they're playing and everything, plus going on with counting and everything. It makes it really hard for them. But it helps to have other students, their other low brass, play the same thing on their instrument, which is slightly easier than the trombone. And then the trombones can feel more um, confidence, is the word I'm looking for, more confidence in how they're going to play it. Another thing that I did that was different was um, I figured out a way to try to get the students to have proper posture while playing in band. We're having a major issue, especially with the trumpet section. They are slouching, putting their elbows on their knees like this and trying to play, and it's just, it's not a good, a proper way to be playing their instrument. So what I decided that is that if the students are not sitting with proper posture like they are required to for the class, I'm going to require them to stand up during class. And they don't want to do that. So it's, it's working out so far. So hopefully it continues on working really well. Well, thank you and I will see you next time.